You've got some guts showing up here. Not really. See, evolution in the herd business don't have an issue. Until now. What it comes down to is you chose the wrong company in more ways than one. And now that decision is going to cost you your intercontinental championship. And how is that going to happen? One word. Omas. You don't stand a chance against him. I'm not scared of Omas. Name the time and place, and I'll be there. Hold up. There's no need to rush things. Let's get to know each other a little better. Do our due diligence. What I'm thinking is, first you have a non-title match against Carmelo Hayes. Sound good? Sure. Doesn't matter to me, because it's all going to end the same. Me walking away intercontinental champion. Okay, Locke. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, Gabe, you know the deal. I want you out there for this match to make sure the Hurt Business doesn't get involved. Got it. Wait, do you really think that's necessary? I can handle myself fine. And what's the worst that can happen anyway? A DQ and I get some shots in on MVP and Omas? Or they get some shots in on you and weaken you before your title match against Omas. Come on, use your head. Gabe, you're going out there with him for that match. I don't want to hear another word. Come on, let's go. A promising young talent with a lot of swagger. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by MVP. From Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. 
The man destined to be top dog. It's the lock. And his opponent, accompanied by Gabriel Slade from Allentown, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 293 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Wildman. Intercontinental titles don't grow on trees. The Lock and Carmelo Hayes are squaring off tonight in a hotly anticipated non-title match between two superstars destined for greatness. The Lock has more than just an IC title with him tonight, as Gabriel Slade will be joining him at ringside. Is Randy Orton losing trust in Lock's ability to get it done all by himself? Or maybe he sent Gabe out to keep an eye on MVP? It's hard to get inside the mind of the Viper. It's tossed. She get airline miles for that. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Power slam! That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. The WWE Universe giving him an extra shot of adrenaline. And Locke gets surprised there. Kick to the gut. Uh-oh. Shot to the gut will break things up. That's just a beatdown. He's lost some of his win now. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Locke watching attacks left and right. Yeah, Locke has put shoulders down. Zell is going with a pin attempt there. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. He thinks he has it. No only kick out. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. People realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Trap the arm. Neck breaker. So smooth. Ow. So much damage inflicted. He's got him scouted. A stalemate of counters. Snapmare takeover. Followed by. Put it in the corner now. Carmelo Hayes. What is he about to set up here? Springboard leg drop. Cover, cover. And he breaks the count quickly. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Taking this to the floor. He's mounted with punches. And not oh, a nasty start to finish it off. And Hayes is in command. Yeah, impressive offense from Hayes. Oh, God, face first. Oh, attacked in the midsection. And he tosses it back in now. Close call. Yeah, the referee was dangerously close to making it to 10 right there. Looking for a high risk move. Grip slipping, so he releases the hold. Still was able to produce some considerable damage. Ooh. 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 Right. Short jab. It's raining down those shots to the back of the neck. That's just a beat down. What a headbutt. Vicious.
shoulder tackle. And he's turning it around. And Carmelo gets stifled. Let's get this out of the way. I know you didn't want Gabe out there for your last match, but this is too big to risk anything. So I'm going to be in your corner to make sure you hold on to your title. I appreciate the support, but I'm confident I can win this on my own. Besides, you said I was the next version of you. Let me live up to that for once. Our goal in Evolution is to hold championships, and we do that by any means necessary. So I'm not saying you need me to win, but I'm gonna be out there to make sure it happens. You know Hurt Business will be doing the same thing. We'd be stupid not to. Look, I realize they have numbers just like us, but I know I can handle myself. So I'm asking both of you to just stay in the back. No one's gonna think any less of you if you have someone in your corner. Gabe's right. This isn't the time to prove a point. So why are we even having this conversation? Gabe would say whatever you wanted him to, but I'm not like that. Yes, we're part of a team, but I'm a future world champion. The Fina, right? So I need to prove to you and myself that I can do this. That evolution isn't some kind of crutch propping me up. You said I could trust you when I joined evolution, and now? You need to trust me on this. Message received. You clearly know what's best for you. Good luck.
the following is scheduled for one fall. And is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. One of the tallest competitors in WWE history. The personification of intimidation. The Colossus has arrived. Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's the lock. Introducing the challenger. What a night for the lock as he stands alone without his evolution teammates to defend his intercontinental title against the biggest threat the hurt business has to throw at him. Omos! I like what you did there, Cole. No two ways about it. Omos is a gigantic weapon, unlike anything else that exists in all of WWE. Omos may be over seven feet of ferocity, but don't forget about MVP and Carmelo Hayes, who can make their presence known at any time tonight. Oh, puts it again. Pick the win right out of you. Makes him pay with a counter. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. With the counter. Oh, that didn't go as locked design. Stop to the arm. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Oh. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. And the pressure on Omas continues to mount. Yeah, Locke is proving hard to keep up with. Omas able to counter. Momentum isn't completely out of Omas's side just yet. That might be what gets Omas out of danger. <laughs> close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Oh, stiff punch. Boom, impact. Boom, slam. With authority. was close to over. He just barely dodges. Getting carried around that spot to be in. Close call, but not enough yet. He's got the answer for that. The champion is looking to take things to the air here. But Omas has recovered and grabs a hold of him. The lock's trying to free himself. And he does, but the referee got taken out. Can the champion capitalize on this opening? MVP making his presence known. Well, it looks like the Hurt Business are the ones who are going to capitalize. Choke slam down to the mat. Omas with a pin attempt. The referee's coming too. One, two, three. He did it. We have a new giant intercontinental champion. Ultimately, the combined effort of the Hurt Business is too much for the lock to handle, which makes you wonder, where was Evolution? And now MVP in the Hurt Business are taking it to the former champion. Again, where is Randy Orton? Where Slave. Their teammate just got beat down. Let's not lose sight of the fact that we have a new Intercontinental Champion in Omas. But I agree, there's definitely something off with Evolution.
Where's Orton and Slade? They were just heading back towards your locker room. Hey, what the hell was that all about? Where were you? You told us to stay in the back. Remember? Yeah, I said stay in the back for the match. But then, in case you missed it, the Hurt Business attacked me. I could have used some backup there. Can we get some privacy? No, I want everyone to see this. What's your deal? Were you trying to send me some kind of message? Actually, we were on our way out to help you, but I got overruled. By who? Me. What? I've heard people say I'm a follower. That I lack killer instinct. That it's held me back my entire WWE career. Huh. I'm done with all that. I made the call to stay in the back. I trusted you. We were teammates even before all this evolution stuff. Teammates? You've never cared about me or anyone else. Every decision you've made has been to benefit you and your career only. Getting me involved in that stupidity with the New Day was a wake-up call. And then your stubbornness against the Hurt Business only cemented who you are. It cost you your title. But that hurts all of us. So explain why we should go out of our way to help you. This is ridiculous. Just like always, you're just saying all this because you know it's what Randy wants to hear. No, I'm saying it because it's the truth. I tried to let you do things on your own, and you failed. Repeatedly. What's next? You're gonna bring down our whole group with you? So maybe I was wrong from the start. Maybe Gabe is the future world champion in evolution. Let's face it. You're not the lock. You're the weak link. I don't need you or evolution. I never did. I'm better off on my own. I quit. Good. Clear your stuff out. I don't want to see you again. So, since we last caught up, you got into a fight with New Day over a video game cover, lost your Intercontinental Championship, and then quit Evolution. Stirring of bad luck, or all part of the plan? It was bad luck. I had Omas beat before the ref got in the way and the Hurt Business cheated to take my title. But honestly, it's for the better. I feel like a, a weight has been lifted from me dead weight in the form of Orton and Gabe. I never felt comfortable in evolution, but now that that's all behind me, I can focus on what's next. Well, I certainly believe in you, but what's next? I know I'll become WWE Champion, but something has been off since I debuted. And it's been holding me back way more than evolution ever did. So what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head on in front of the entire WWE Universe.
former Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, has requested this time to address the WWE Universe. Now, he certainly has a lot to address. Let's be real. I haven't had the best run lately. Most notably, I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship, and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? You all heard and saw the endless hype. I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future world champion. And of course, the lock. It worked for a while, but let's be honest, it felt forced from day one. I never was truly comfortable with what I was asked to do. And when it comes down to it, these recent setbacks were just a result of those early decisions that were out of my hands and way above my pay grade. What I'm saying is, I was set up to fail by WWE management, and especially VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. Let me shoot with you. Shawn was behind all of this from the start, forcing one bad decision after another. So, HBK, I want you to come out here right now so we can talk man to man, face to face. Strong words from the lock. Yeah, he better be careful here. And Shawn Michaels apparently has chosen to come out and respond to these claims. This is a situation that might be better handled off camera, behind closed doors, not in front of the entire WWE Universe. He doesn't look too happy to be put on the spot like this. I heard everything you said, and I'm willing to talk. But you know this isn't the time or the place. This is exactly the time and place. I want everyone to hear how you've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Stop. Now. No. I've played by your rules, but I'm not going to trust the process any longer. From now on, I do what I want to do. That's what got me here in the first place. My voice, my instinct, my talent. You and your corporate yes-men have tried to stifle that every chance you got. Okay. You really want to do this? We've heard your side of things. Here's mine, AKA the truth. All you've done is complain since day one, thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match, and then you dropped your custom attire right afterwards. You know how much time and money was invested in all of that, and you never gave any of it a fair shot. But there's no change in your mind because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business. The same people who tried to set you up for success, who wanted nothing but the best for you. Hold on. The best for me? Give me one example of something you did to help me. Come on. Name one thing. Okay. Let's get it all out there. When things weren't going as expected, I went to Randy Orton and MVP and convinced them to start factions, to try to get you back on track. That's how much we believed in you, that we were willing to stick our necks out for you. But I guess that's all stifling and setting you up for failure, right? You said they wanted me. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. But even that didn't work, because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit, throwing away an opportunity that everyone in the back would kill for. So I have one final thing to say to you. Don't you ever confuse potential with success, because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. 
Stop complaining and blaming everyone else and do something for once. You want me to do something? Is that what you want? Words being exchanged here. I'm talking to you. Show me some respect. Sean just took a very awkward fall there and hit the steel steps hard on his way down. I don't think that was intended, but things just took a very bad and unexpected turn. I think he was just trying to get Sean's attention, and it backfired. Officials, including Michael's good friend Triple H, have arrived to check on Sean. Probably best for him to just leave and let things cool down. You're fired! Did Shawn Michaels just say he's fired? I think I heard that too. Wow, I can't believe that just happened. This has gotten way out of hand. We just hope Sean's okay.